So what are the risks if Russia continues bombing and ends up intentionally or unintentionally hitting nuclear power plants? Well, if they're unintentional, it's probably not a big deal because the containment around the reactor core is designed to withstand a jet impact. So unless they're trying to intentionally damage the reactor core, they're first going to have to breach that outer containment. If they are able to breach the containment, then they've got to hit the reactor vessel itself. And that's a much smaller target. Assuming that they hit it, then they'll breach it. If they breach it, it's mostly metal for the, for, for the most part, and then ceramic. So it's pretty hard to make that into a powder or an aerosol. If you did continue bombarding it, then again, you, you will eventually be able to make a big mess. Keep in mind, you're going to kill a lot less people hitting that nuclear power plant than you will by bombing cities and towns and uh, apartment buildings. So it's probably a really good thing that they're wasting their shells on a nuclear power plant with the caveat that if you do take out the nuclear power plant, you're taking out a lot of electricity and that might hurt a lot of people. But if that's really all you're trying to do, it's a lot easier to take out the electricity without shelling a nuclear power plant. You just hit the power lines. So I don't think it's going to happen, but when you're talking about a crazy person, who knows what a crazy person is going to do? It's indeterminate. So I hope that answers the question. Thanks for asking it. Have a good day.